The OG. That's not fair. As a customer service, I don't seem to see them on the website. This is actually my favourite cake so far. It is Sunday the 18th of April. Now, a couple of days ago, two supermarkets here in the UK got into a little bit of a fight over a caterpillar cake. If you don't know about these, caterpillar cakes are cakes that you get for your birthday. Traditionally, they're a bit of an institution in the UK, I would say. Uh, and Aldi and M&S have got into a little bit of a squabble. Squabble? Yes, a squabble. M&S has the original caterpillar cake. He is called Colin, Colin the caterpillar cake, and he's incredibly popular. Since his success, Basically, every other supermarket in the UK seems to have brought out their own equivalent. However, Aldi's, which is called Cuthbert, apparently too similar to Colin, and it's all kicked off, and I think they're going to court about it. So that's a whole other situation. Today, we've been inspired by these events to go to all these different supermarkets, to buy one of each of the caterpillar cakes, and to taste them, you know, just to see which one's best, to, 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 to kind of sort this out once and for all. Uh, we're not gonna weigh in on the politics of Aldi versus m and because we're just peaceful people, aren't we? Um, keep myself to myself. Yeah, we don't we don't want to get involved with that. But what we do want to do is eat lots of chocolate cake. So if you want to know which caterpillar cake is indeed the best in the UK, uh, then keep watching. Seems fitting that we should start with M and S. The OG. The OG. Is <gasps> that? Meet Colin. <laughs> Here he comes. Cake one. Supermarket one, M&S, done. Big success. There was a lot of people buying Colin the Caterpillar cake, so I feel like any publicity is good publicity, and that he's just on the brain at the moment. Join the secret shop from Southampton. Yes! Oh my god, the last one! The last it's so one. small! Last one. Da, 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 da. Oh, look at that. Look how tiny Morris is compared to Colin. Bye. Okay. I'm slightly concerned that I'm going to get a call from Nat West. And they'll be like, Mr. Hall, there's some suspicious activity on your account. <laughs> you keep buying caterpillar cakes. <laughs> is everything okay? Are you having a breakdown? Yes. Yes. All of it. Yes. <laughs> So buzzing about that, so buzzing. The last one, there was only one left. Feel so inspired and motivated. The plan is coming together. Imagine as well, this is the only Morrisons. This was our, this was our one shot, our one shot was this one. Thank God for you, little Morrisons in, where are we? Totten. Totten? Totten! It's not here. It's not here. God damn it. Okay, next one, next one. They have a dog. <gasps> it's not here again. The cooperative, good with food. That was terrible. That was it was supposed to be Scottish. Okay. Oh, damn it. We tried so hard. But the problem with the co-op is they're all so small. That one was relatively big, so I thought we had a chance. Whereas the other ones are generally like attached to petrol stations in a teeny tiny. <gasps> yes! Did we get the reduced one? Why is it reduced? Is it out of date today? No. Oh, it's battered. We, we don't want one. the battered one. We want a good. Wiggles. Yes! Oh, oh finally. Join Hello. your brothers! MS, Colin, Morris. And wiggles. Oh, look at them, they look adorable. Night, night. <laughs> Hello. Again. <gasps> Let's just continue it. I reckon they stopped there. Let's continue doing it. Oh. Thank you for calling Sorry. Aldi Customer Service. What? Please be aware calls may be recorded for training and quality purposes. And when you're speaking to out of customer service. Can I take your name, please? Uh, it's Tristan Hall. I'm just wondering, have you removed the uh, Cuthbert Caterpillar cakes from your stores? It's just interesting because I've been to, oh. to, to two different stores and neither have even got a place where they would be. It's almost yeah. like they've been removed from the shelf. Um, 
I know there's been a wee bit of controversy just yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then, yeah, they're, they're not, I don't seem to see them on the website. Um, if they're not there, I don't think they've been told to remove them. MS1? They're off the website. Well, can't we carry on? To where do we go? Asda? Asda. Asda. Yes! 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 Classy. <gasps> oh no, every time. Look at them go. I feel like Stan also in Infinity Stones. <laughs> yes, that's so true. <laughs> and welcome to this really serious video. In front of us, we have five caterpillar cakes. These are the only caterpillar cakes that we could find across the whole of the South Coast. How much money did we spend? I don't want to know. Yeah, that's not worth that. It's not doing it. It's not, not worth it. <laughs> we're not going to dwell on that bit. And what we're going to do for you today is try each of these cakes and tell you which is the best. So you don't have to spend an extortionate amount of money and indeed time uh, like we did. Now this was all inspired by the recent events surrounding Aldi's Cuthbert the Caterpillar and M&S's Colin the Caterpillar. Miranda's got more for you. Oh, I have indeed. Thank you uh, for <laughs> warning me that you were going to hand over to me in that moment. We did try exceptionally hard to get our hands on a Cuthbert the Caterpillar cake. Indeed, we went to three different Aldis and called Aldi services. I was going to say social services. It hasn't <laughs> got that bad yet. <laughs> and they said that you could no longer find Cuthbert on the Aldi website. Instead, for you, we have got a caterpillar cake from M&S, Asda, Morrison's, Sainsbury's, and Waitrose. Let's begin with the OG, Colin. We're going on packaging first. Mm -hmm. I will say that before we open this, because we did some shots a bit earlier, Colin was surrounded by a lovely cellophane Ooh. wrapping. So I would say the packaging alone and the fact that he looks very premium with a side window, well, there is some curvature to the cellophane, mm. the uh, plastic window, which I'm not 100% happy on. He is the only one with a side window. Yeah. You're right. So I like to see the length rather than the girth. So I would say I'm giving out of five the packaging. You know what? I'll give it a four. Four? Really? That's interesting. You? What do you give it? I would all... If you say five, I'll jump to five. Yeah, I was going to say okay, five. Sweet, I, don't know how, I don't know how much more you would change, to be honest. So we're going to go with five for MS. Oh, well, how lovely. Let's start off in terms of the appearance with its face. Now, Colin has an entirely chocolate face. He does. And they've even, attention to detail, put a little pink tongue there. He's going, a playful caterpillar. Obviously, back decoration is limited. The legs I'm a massive fan of because they are actually embedded within. Yeah. They are like part of the body. White chocolate feet. And what's not to love about that? I know. I'll be very interested to see if all the others have white chocolate feet. So I give appearance a four. Yeah. yeah. The only thing that lets it down is a little bit of extra panache. Like when we show you the other ones, there's a hell of a lot of sprinkles involved. Colin's quite bare, and there are only two colours of Smarty. Not that I'm against yellow and green Smarties, they're fine. He and looks it, clean though, doesn't he? He does he look very neat. He looks very, you know, pristine. So we're going with four. I've got four. A high four, but a four nonetheless. Okay. It's a firm cut. But that is a signifier of high quality chocolate. I'll rotate it around so you can see. Uh, some good swirls inside. Like a merry fucking berry. <laughs> a good thick head on there as well. Now for the taste. Oh, we're going in. We're going in. So I'm going to try and get, oh, you cheeky. We're going to be doing this one, two, three. It's professional. Three, two, one. 
I do like a Munich chocolate. It's light, isn't it? Mm. Cake is not stodgy. Mm. Okay. I'm giving it a five for taste. Mmm. Oh, See, I'm more of a four. Why? It's very sweet. I can feel. It's a chocolate cake, Miranda. I can feel the sugar in no, my teeth. You're wrong. You're okay, right. Wrong. Well, look. T I can get a five. M is saying four. Because it's and my too sweet. It's a chocolate cake. It's very sweet. Can we bear in mind, Tristan, that we've got four more of these to try? Is it good? Is the face good? I need a little bit. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Out of a possible 15 points for Tristan, Colin scored 14. And for myself, Colin scored 13. I must say, I am a sucker for sprinkles. So this next one I'm very excited about. We're talking about Asda's Clyde the Caterpillar Cake. Now, interestingly, he is the most jazzy of all the boxes. There is a lot going on. You can see a little bumblebee, some other caterpillars, maybe a worm or two, a ladybird. There's a lot going on aesthetically, so big fan of that. Hasn't got the side window, only the top. However, I am so enamored with the dedication to imagery. I'm happy to give it a five as yeah, well. I'll yeah, I agree with you. This is where I think Clyde's gonna fall down. Uh, Just as I suspected. <laughs> Clyde's lack of topographical undulation on his back. For the people that don't understand, what do you mean? The humps. humps. The bumps. bumps, okay. Now he has very small, what look like mini egg sized bumps along his back. Really interested to see what's underneath those. As am I. Facially, maybe he needs some Botox. He looks like He's Shrek. He's got a really droopy face. The eyes, the face is actually icing. The nose is icing and the eyes are just stuck on. Mm. So for me, and the, and the feet, not to mention the feet, are just orange icing, so. Can we say that for the lack of chocolate, that brings it down to like a, a three, but they really have put a lot of attention to the fun jazziness. No, You, four, you still think three. I think he's a three. Can we compromise 3.5? Look how brightly colored he is. Yeah, but I'm looking at the other ones and seeing their sprinkles and I'm already enjoying those more than I'm enjoying his. He's not even got smarties on him. All right, fine, three. three. Very defined. Oh, much neater. Oh, a gooey chocolatey substance. Would you look at that? Hey, Colin didn't have that. Ooh, it feels dry, doesn't it? It does. Three, Three two, two, one. Dry. Look at how hard you're working on that. I'm not. I don't. I'm not a fan of that. For me personally, it's less sweet than Colin. So I prefer it. Oh, right. This is the thing. We're doing this for the people. For the many, not the few. <laughs> People like you who don't like sweet things would be eating the cake in the first place. Put your own sweet dislikes aside and think about that as a cake. I prefer this one. Let me try You're the a joke. One. That tastes like a happy shopper cake. It's it the, the things you get in like a petrol station, the cakes that are like dry and unpleasant. That I mean, last plastic wrapper. Six years. Yeah. I'm not adverse to this. You put down your aesthetic mark, I'll put down mine aesthetic mark, my aesthetic mark, and then we'll do a separate score we did last time because I think that we're gonna rate this very differently. Taste, I'm gonna give it, you're gonna kick off. I'm gonna give it 4.5, I, I don't even care. You're ridiculous. I preferred it. Don't get me wrong, let me just clarify. The chocolate on m and is nicer, it's higher quality, it's thicker and it is tastier. The cake itself, I prefer. Tristan? Three. <gasps> so angry. So final score from me for this one is 11. Ouch. Final score for me on this one, 13.5? Is that really what I gave it? Yeah. Huh. Next one is Morris from Morrison's. Aesthetically, I'm bored. Packaging. I'm bored. It's a lovely side image, which gives you an idea of what it's gonna look like inside. But again, I'm disappointed. It's really simple. Like Terribly there's simple. there's no fun cartoon on the side or anything. It's just showing you what you can already see in real life inside the box. I'm going to. Yeah, me agreed. Agreed with that. They've just put not much effort into it. It does look sturdy though. Sprinkles are nice. Slightly odd distribution of the smarties, I would say. Would you agree with me? Yeah. What well, they've just been going a little bit haphazard, more. like salt guy. It has got chocolate feet though. But they're smaller than Collins. But they have. It's also got a chocolate face, not an icing face. Can I see? Can you turn it around to face me, please? It's got stuck on eyes, similar oh, to okay. our friend Clyde. Yeah, from but, Master. 
Looks like a thinner chocolate. I'd be very interested to try that. I'm going Hysteria, a four. Oh my God, I've given every aesthetic a four so far. Yeah, go on. Let's carry on with the four for now. Poor Sod got two of the packaging, so he's got to do you well somewhere. Colin, a four for aesthetic. I like this. Colin, oh, so much better. I like the sprinkles. Again. Oh, that looks dry. Three. Two. One. Oh, so dry. That's much, yeah. Much worse. Mm. Uh, I'm still chewing. Ow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it really hurts. It really hurts. Morris gets zero. I have a hole in my tooth. I need a filling and a little sprinkle with it. It really hurts. A sprinkle? <laughs> Final scores for Morris. Eight. Eight. Across the board. Oh. This very academic experiment now moves on to Sainsbury's, who is called Wiggles. Indeed, doesn't begin with a C, doesn't even begin with an S. So I'm not entirely sure what they were thinking of that, but Wiggles the caterpillar. I'm quite a fan of the packaging. Yeah, it's all right. It's a nice, steady green scheme. Mm -hmm. Four. My tooth still Heavy. hurts from Morris. Oh, yes. This, what? Is, this, this is the problem, child. Oh no! With the broken, the also, back left, the back right foot is up between the front two. It's come off. Also, look at the poor distribution of sprinkles. We it's now hate sodding. sprinkles. But then there, it's really back heavy. There's nothing on the front. It does have chocolate feet mm -hmm. and a chocolate face that has no stuck on pieces. Yeah, it's all chocolate, that's good. Potentially, this could have been a 4.5 slash 5. I want to give it a three. It's very lopsided. Slap dash. And it arrived broken. I think that because I had a really traumatic experience with Morris, I'm now scoring harshly because I'm angry. You changed. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Look at that. Can you see? Okay. <laughs> chin chin. Chin chin. Oh wow. You feel how dry it is? Mm. Now, I just want to clarify something. Taste wise, this is actually my favourite cake so far. The taste is lovely, but it's so dry. What they always say on Bake Off is that taste is the most important thing, isn't mm. it? 4.5. Yeah, maybe 4.5. Like, I don't like sweet things, and I could eat a whole slice of that. I know I'm not the right person to be doing this, but whatever. Sainsbury's Wiggles scores 11.5. 11.5. All right, we move on to the final, the final caterpillar cake. I would just like to mention that we tried to get one from Tesco, but all they had was gluten-free and... No one needs that. My sister Celiac and... I'm sorry, all of you, because... Poor Charlie. No one, yeah. <laughs> we came prepared. <laughs> Waitrose's guy or girl is called Cecil. That's my favourite name so far. Cecil, that is adorable. Now, as a premium brand, it looks like someone's made it on paint. I think that simplicity is key here, and unlike some of the others where they've been too simple or simple and childish, this one is simple but mature. The decoration does, however, nicely summarise a kind of artistic interpretation of what's inside the You're box. You're so right, the yellow, the orange and the green. Yeah. And a nice little brown banner. 4.5? Yeah, go on. Do you know what? It's classy. If a caterpillar cake could be classy, this one is. Now this lad is fat. He's <laughs> heavy. He is girth. Wow. It's the heaviest of the lot so far, I think. And Colin was longer. Oh my God. He's top heavy in that his front end is pretty much covering the entire of the base, whereas his back end is narrow. He looks like a sausage roll with pastry that hasn't quite reached the end his, of the sausage. His body is also overlapping his legs. And I know it's pain because I've put on some weight in lockdown as well, but it doesn't seem like that's a fair distribution of the back either. So not overly happy about that. And the eyes stuck are on. stuck on. 1.5 Yeah, I'm gonna go, yeah. It's, do you know what? It's actually, it's really boring. Yeah, 1.5. It is. Oh. Wow. I say that is mostly sauce. That's mostly the chocolate ganache rather than the, uh, than the sponge. Mm. All right, last one. I'm not a fan of the taste of that one. Having just had Sainsbury's, that is that is just like I don't know why I've got an issue with Cuthbert. Because I think what's he called Cecil? 
That's a like way more similar. I I give that a four. The case. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm giving it a two. Okay. It's way too sweet for me. Wow. So my score on the end of that is. Oh dear, Cecil didn't do very well. So ten for me and eight for Miranda. Not done well at all. So that. In fifth place, unilaterally across the board, voted this way. We have Morris from Morrison's with eight out of 15. Loser! You're a joke. Loser! Over there. In fourth place, with a respective 10 and eight, we have Cecil from Waitrose. Let me remind you that Morris got eight. So for me personally, these guys tied last. In third place, we have Wiggles from Sainsbury's with 11.5 points out of 15. Still think he was the nicest tasting, if not a little bit dry. In second place, we have got Asda's, what's he called? Clyde. Clyde, we have Clyde, who did very respectfully. He got 11 from you because you had serious issues with the aesthetic, but that's your problem that you need to work on. Uh, and from me, he had 13.5. What I will say about Clyde is that the reason he got such a high mark is because his packaging was rated so highly. So if you care about the taste of the cake, don't buy him. And then how flipping predictable is this? I'm actually really annoyed about it. In first place, we've got Colin the Caterpillar cake. Yeah. He got 14 Come on. and 30. Look at that. Prime cut. That's like a fillet steak. Oh. But do you know what? If I was going back for a second slice, Sainsbury's a good one. Really? You yeah. made it dry. I am not want Colin. Colin is too sweet. Look at that. Well, thank you so much for watching. We hope that you've enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments down below which is your favourite caterpillar cake or indeed if there's another one which we managed to miss. We couldn't find one from co-op and Cuthbert has mysteriously disappeared. Until next time.